Many sports facilities in Zimbabwe are in a bad state due to poor maintenance, a situation that is directly affecting national teams. The National Sports Stadium, for instance, can no longer host international football matches, meaning any home games may have to be played on foreign soil until the stadium has been brought up to scratch. Domestic football is back in Zimbabwe, but quality venues where it can be played are few. In the capital city, for instance, only one stadium is approved to host Premier Soccer League matches, and that one that's being used only passes the local test. The Confederation of African Football has banned the National Sports Stadium from hosting international matches because it lacks some basic facilities like bucket seats and electronic turnstiles that are minimum requirements for an international match venue. Both government and the Football Association have been held responsible. We knew that for a very long time and uh, one of the crucial things is to put bucket seats in the stadium at least to modernize it a bit and yet with COVID and no football there was more than a year to do so and uh, nothing happened so you can blame Zifa but you can easily blame uh, the uh, sports ministry and the SRC uh, as well and ask whether they're playing their part too. It's not just football stadiums that are in a dire state. Other facilities are a far cry from their former glory days. A veteran sports administrator I spoke to believes this is a case of the chickens coming home to roost. Infrastructure deteriorates when it's not maintained. So over time, this takes its toll. Doesn't mean that the deterioration started yesterday. It started years ago. You can go back far away to the All Africa Games in 1995. In the various facilities, some of the more class that were put into place is an investment for those games. Some of them are now totally unused. There is still hope for resuscitating the crumbling facilities. Well, it can be fixed, but it depends if the will is there. There are ideas like uh, maybe uh, selling naming rights to a sponsor for stadiums so that they will uh, undergo the renovations and have naming rights. It happens in other countries. We just need that kind of thinking here because that can make a big difference. <laughs> Though it has committed to addressing the deficiencies noted by CAF at the National Sports Stadium, the government has not given timelines when the work will be completed. Farai Mwakutuya, CGTN, Harare, Zimbabwe.